Mike Trout has a hammy bone injury, and the Orioles are promoting Colton Kowser. Let's discuss on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FPT in 5 on Wednesday, July 5th. I am Frank Sample, joined by Chris Towers, and let's get into all the news. It was a, a crazy day of baseball. Mike Trout placed on the IL with a left ham eight bone fracture in his hand, and uh, which typically requires four to six weeks to heal. We are looking for replacements. Obviously, it's pretty tough to replace what Mike Trout provides, but the foremost added outfielders on CBS right now, TJ Friedel, Leody Tavares, Tommy Pham and Andrew McCutcheon. Chris, how do you rank that group? Okay, so I think I would go Leody Tavares, um, TJ, uh, Tommy Pham, TJ Friedel, and Andrew McCutcheon. McCutcheon maybe gets a little boost in a points league just because his plate discipline is still very good. Friedel, you know, I don't really trust him for much besides stolen bases, but Leody Tavares. You know, only 69% rostered. He's been very good for really the last month, you know, last two months, uh, hitting the ball harder in ways that back up the power boost that he's seen. So I really like what we've seen from Tavares. Let's say you play in a five outfielder league. So slightly deeper format. Some names here that stood out to me. Jose Siri, who's 29% rostered. Oscar Colas, 25%. And Mickey Moniak, 23%, probably going to see more playing time due to this Mike Trout injury. Chris, how would you... Rank those in deeper leagues. Siri, Colas, Moniac. I think I would go with Colas just because of the prospect pedigree and the hype that he had at the beginning of the season. Went back down to AAA after struggling at the majors and, and was pretty good. 866 OPS. He was nine home runs in 50-something games. So I think I would prioritize Colas. But, you know, Moniac's been really good. It's just I think there's a hard ceiling on how good he can be because he's not going to play against lefties. You know, I think the bigger problem is we just don't know if he can sustain this, but you know, even if he does, he's just, he's almost certainly not going to play every day. Well, if you're looking for another Mike Trout replacement, someone we didn't talk about yet is Colton Kowser, who is getting promoted on Wednesday. He's one of the Orioles top prospects in the organization, 23 years old, former first round pick back in 2021. And this year in the minors, Colton Kowser was batting 330 with 10 homers, 7 seals, and a 996 OPS, 35% rostered, widely available. Chris, what are your thoughts on Colton Kowser, and where does he rank on that group of uh, Mike Trout replacements? I I think in terms of who you, if you're going to add one of them, you probably just go ahead and add Colton Kowser, even if TJ Friedel and Leo Tavares and the rest of those guys are available, because he's going to be the big name, right? Tavares has been around for a while. He's been really good for most of the time. He's been in the majors this season, and he's only 69% rostered. I think Kowser is going to get there within the next day or two just from the hype and excitement of him getting called up. That being said, I do have some concerns. 34% strikeout rate against left-handed pitchers last season, 32% this season. Quality of contact metrics are fine. 89.9 mile per hour average exit velocity, 110.7 mile per hour max exit velo, but it doesn't necessarily suggest that he is a, a superstar in the making, especially given the platoon concern. So I do think there's some, some platoon risk, but obviously, you know, there's 2020 upside here. There's pedigree. If you don't add Colton Kowser now, you're not going to have a chance to. So you should just go ahead and add him. Let's wrap up with Alec Manoa, who will make his return to the Blue Jays and start Friday against the Tigers, which is a great matchup for him to return to. He's 68% rostered. He was a disaster earlier this season. He made a recent start at AA, which was very promising. Chris, what are your thoughts on Alec Manoa's return? And who would you rather have, him or Tarek Skubal, who had a very strong debut on Tuesday? I think both of them should probably be 100% rostered. That being said... I think the thing you have to start with with Alec Manoa is there's no way you can start him this week. No. You know, it's starting a, a good matchup against the the Tigers, good performance at double A. All of that being true, there's no way you can trust him in that outing. He's just he has to prove himself to you. That being said, I do think he needs to be 100 percent roster or very close to it, because at no point during the course of the season, but especially in July, 
do you get guys with top three Cy Young Award potential? And that's what Alec Manoa was last season. Even if we expected some regression, he was a must start, I think, unanimous number two starting pitcher for fantasy. If he can get back to being that guy, and I think there's a chance that given how quickly the Blue Jays got him back to the majors, you have to add him just in case he figures it out. Would you take him over Tarek Skubal? That's a really tough one because I really like what we've seen from Skubal. Very good debut, six strikeouts, four innings pitched. Velocity was up 2.3 miles per hour on his fastball. I think Skubal is a must roster player as well. If they're both out there, I think I would add Manoa over Skubal, but it's really, really close moving forward. I think Skubal's probably a, a more high probability play. Manoa probably has a little more upside. All right. For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the Odyssey app, or anywhere else podcasts are found. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5, and we'll be back again tomorrow. Bye-bye.